Let's, Let's conduct, conduct a scientific, scientific experiment. experiment. Take, Take your hands, hands and hold them about six, six inches apart. apart. Now, bring, bring them together, together really, really quickly. Continually, continually repeat, repeat this action again and again, and again. Faster, faster and faster. Thank, Thank you, you for, for the applause. applause. Really, really, you're too kind. kind. Okay. okay, so, so what, what happened? happened there? You, you hit your hands together, together and, and they produced a sound. sound. If, if we imagine that we could see sound, this is what that would look like. The vibrations, the vibrations from the contact, contact expand outward at the, at the speed of sound the same way that waves ripple when you toss a pebble into, into the water. The fluctuating, the fluctuating dispersion of sound from a source is called a sound wave. Like, like any, any other sort of wave, wave it travels through alternating highs and lows known as crests and troughs, crests, which, which looks, looks something like this. this. So, that's so that's a basic, basic sound, sound wave. wave. But, but what, what happens when a second source is added? The two, the two sound, sound waves, waves will interfere with each other, and, and as, as anyone who's ever been wakeboarding wake knows, knows, when, when waves mix, things, things can get a bit choppy. choppy. When, when we're, we're studying wave, wave interference, interference, the results of two waves of the same medium interacting, interacting there, there are two essential interference patterns that emerge. To see, to see these, let's, let's look at those sound waves again. again. We've, We've got, got two, two different, different sound, sound waves here, here. And, and for the, for the sake, sake of this lesson, I'm going, going to separate them out. Them out. Notice, Notice how these two different, different waves look similar? The crests, the crests and troughs line up with each other. When, when sound, sound waves interact, interact in the same pattern, we call, we call it constructive interference. interference. When, when constructive interference occurs, generally from two waves traveling in the same direction, the result, the result tends, tends to be an amplification of the sound. A, a super, super wave, combining, combining the force of both waves, creating what is called a hot spot or live spot in acoustics. Now, now just, just because this amplification comes from two different sound, sound sources that are interfering with each other, a louder sound does not always mean a clearer sound. These sounds could be muddled, competing against each other as well. So what happens when waves don't align so neatly? When, when waves, waves are, are traveling, traveling in opposite direction, direction and, and sound waves interact in opposite patterns, patterns the result is destructive interference. So if, so if the trough of one, of one wave meets the crest of another, another that's destructive, destructive interference, interference, and the result is a dampening of sound called a dead spot in acoustics. Basically, the amplitudes of each wave subtract from each other, as opposed to adding to each other as a constructive interference. A common, a common example, example used, used to demonstrate both of these kinds of interference is by, is by using a tuning fork. Tap, tap the tuning fork against a solid object, making it ring. ring. There, there are two points on it, so there are two different sound sources. If you, if you hold the tuning fork up to your ear and rotate it, it, it will fluctuate between sounding loud and sounding soft. This, this is because, because as you rotate it, you are, you are hearing waves, waves from each prong as they move in the same direction and as they move in opposite directions, depending on which angle the tuning fork is relative to your ear. So, so you hear both constructive, constructive and destructive interference as moments through the changing volume. When two sources create sound waves, those sound waves will interfere both constructively and destructively. This, this creates, creates an interesting, interesting pattern of sound displacement called the two-point two source interference pattern. pattern. Basically, this, this pattern is characterized by points where sound waves interacting constantly hold the same position. Let me show you, show you what I mean. mean. Look, at Look at this graphic. graphic. You'll, You'll notice, notice that as the wave fluctuates, as it, as it moves, the tops, the tops of the crests and, and bottoms of the troughs return to the same points. points. These, These points, points of maximum displacement are called antinodes and, and are created by constructive interference. interference. But that's not all we see here. If we, if we draw a horizontal line through the middle of this image, image you'll see an axis along which the line seems to travel. The, the points, points where the wave meets this axis, the points, the points of minimum displacement, are called the nodes. These, These are created by destructive interference. interference. Two-point two sound interference patterns are created by the consistent alteration between nodes and antinodes. Because these points are always located at the same spot along the wave, this pattern is also called a standing wave. 
two, two waves resonating, resonating at the same frequency will always create a standing wave pattern, pattern defined, defined by these fluctuating nodes and antinodes. When, when two objects, objects interact, they, they create vibrations that, that produce sound, sound waves, fluctuating dispersions of sound from a source. source. Sound, sound waves, waves, like ripples in water, pulse outwards, outwards in a pattern of press and, and troughs. When, when sound, sound is produced by multiple sources, sources the sound waves interfere with each other. Two, two sound, sound waves traveling in the same direction interact in the same pattern, pattern which, which we call constructive interference. interference. Sound waves traveling in opposite directions interact in opposite patterns, called destructive interference. interference. This creates a two-point sound, sound interference pattern. pattern. In, in which points, points where sound, sound waves interact constantly, constantly hold, hold the same position. position. The, points the points of maximum displacement are called antinodes. The points, the points of minimum displacement are the nodes. Since, Since nodes and antinodes hold, hold the same place within the wave, this, this is also called the standing wave pattern. pattern. And, and all of this from such a simple scientific experiment. experiment.